Let's create a chat web application. I have a lot of respect for modern web application development. It must be really hard to deal with React and all the other frameworks. And that's just the client side of things. When I started with AI engineering, I immediately wanted to create web application demonstrations to demonstrate and share my ideas. But I hesitated to go down that route as it seemed to be a lot of work. I was surprised to learn that there are very high level frameworks for creating modern web application demos, especially for machine learning applications. One of these frameworks is Gradio by Hugging Face. Gradio promises to be the fastest way to create demo user interfaces. I don't know if that's true, but I can say it's fast enough for me. As you will see, you can create a chat web application demo with Gradio very quickly. Let's dive in. Gradio has two levels of abstraction. Interfaces and blocks. Interfaces are Gradio's high-level API. With it, you can build web apps with very few lines of code. Start by installing the Gradio package. Then import Gradio. It is common to import Gradio as GR to simplify its use. Then create a function which will handle the inputs and outputs of the interface. You can refer to this function also as the model. This is also often used in Gradius documentation. In this example from the documentation, I created a greet function, which accepts a name and returns a greeting. The Gradio interface class can be initiated with a function, inputs and outputs. Fn is the function and inputs and outputs can be a single string, a list of strings or a list of Gradio blocks. They define the inputs and output sides of the interface. The input argument must map with the parameters of the function. In this example, text references the Gradio text block, which returns a string. The greet function is defined with a name parameter, which also accepts a string. Therefore, we have a match on the input side. The greet function returns a single string. Outputs is initialized with a single text block, which also accepts a string as input. And therefore, we also have a match on the output side. When you want to provide more than one input or output, you can define more function parameters and return values. And of course, then you also use lists for the inputs and outputs. Description is an optional parameter of the Gradio interface class. When I'm done with instantiating the interface, I can launch it. This starts a web server listening on localhost. When you run this in a Jupyter notebook, Gradio also displays the interface inline. Let's try our model and enter a name. The output looks fine. You can also start multiple interfaces. In this case, Gradio will use the next free TCP port to serve it. Of course, it's better to close the server if you don't need it anymore. Let's also have a quick look at Gradio's block API before we start with implementing a chat web application. The Blocks API is a bit lower level than the Interfaces API, but it's still very concise and easy to use. Start with instantiating a Blocks object, then add Blocks to it. In this example, I added a Markdown block with some text followed by a row with two nested text boxes. The first text box will become the input and the second text box will be the output. Below the row, 
I added a button and yeah, Gradius button block has a click method which you can use to handle the click event. In this example here I assigned the greet function as the handler and the input block as inputs and the output block as outputs. This will then look very much like the interface example above but blocks give you much more control over the design and content of a demo application. The blocks instance can also be launched with the launch method. Now let's try our blocks based interface. Then close it again. If you suspect that the interface hangs, you can always close it in a separate call. This stops the underlying server, even if the frontend remains in the waiting state. Gradio also has a special type of interface called chat interface. This gives you a complete chat web application demo. Here is an example. I again define a handling function, but with a chat interface the function must accept a message and a history as arguments. Message is a string and history is a list of strings. The chat interface also has an examples parameter. Here you can assign default chat inputs for the user to try. The title argument is available in other Gradius interfaces as well. Let's launch the chat interface and see how it looks. Chat interface provides a submit action, a retry action, an undo action and a clear action. It also gives the user a list of examples to choose from. Now I close the demo again to get ready for our finale. Building a chat web application demo with OpenAI. I start with code I created in the lab about getting started with the OpenAI API. Here is a quick walkthrough. First, I import all the necessary libraries. Then, I load the OpenAI API key from a .n file, instantiate the OpenAI client and define a default system prompt. Then I define a message class which can hold the messages for the OpenAI Chat Completions API. Get Completions is a helper function which gets completions from the OpenAI API. This function converts the messages list into a list of dictionaries, calls the OpenAI API and returns the content of the assistance response. Now I can wire this to Gradius chat interface. I wrap the chat interface in a class to keep track of the OpenAI client instance and the system prompt. The method called answer takes the messages and the history. It initializes the messages list with the system prompt, pulls out all the previous messages from the history and appends the history entries as user or assistant messages to the messages list. Then it appends the message the user has just entered calls the getCompletionsHelper function and returns the new message from the assistant. Then there's also a close method which just calls the close method on the inner chat interface instance. Now let's launch the demo and try it out. It works! Isn't it amazing that we can build a simple web application demo with Gradio in such a short time? Gradio is just a huge time saver to get a demo up and running. I also created a Python script based on this Jupyter notebook, but I don't show it here because maybe you want to give it a try 
and create such a script on your own. You can find the notebook and the Python script on the website aiwonders.app. I hope you had fun with this lab and if you have questions, please use the comments below. And if you want to get notified when the next lab is ready, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next lab.